we've got to talk about Squirrel Girl again. It's one of our favorites here on the channel. And you might be thinking, Joseph, you're not the comics guy. That's Tyler's job. You're just the devilishly handsome face that we fantasize about a lot. And I get it, and I understand. But I gotta talk about Squirrel Girl because I love Squirrel Girl. And I love Squirrel Girl because I love Hamlet. Well, okay, that's kind of, that's kind of right. It's kind of mostly accurate. If you're unfamiliar, Squirrel Girl was created in 1991 by Will Murray and Steve Ditko. They wanted to create a character that was really lighthearted and kind of a response to a lot of the really dark and brooding characters that had been created and were very popular in the 80s and 90s. In her first appearance, she met, annoyed, then befriended Iron Man and helped him defeat Doctor Doom. After that, she appeared once or twice throughout the 90s and disappeared for almost a full decade being mentioned in a Deadpool comic once and eventually becoming Deadpool's friend when she was brought back in some recent comics. Her main thing is that she serves as the nanny for Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. But this video isn't really about Squirrel Girl. If you want to see more of that, check the description of this video. There's a link there sends you back to a video that Tyler made about the current run of the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. See, she finally has her own standalone comic. And this is why I'm a big fan of the comic. It's because I'm a big fan of the comics writer, Ryan North. Now who is Ryan North, you might ask? I'm glad you did, because that's the purpose of this video. It's why I made that's why I made the video. Ryan North is a computer programmer from Ontario, Canada. Yes, that's right, computer programmer. On February 1st, 2003, Ryan North decided to launch a webcomic, despite not being an artist himself. What Ryan North is, if not an artist, is a genius. He created Dinosaur Comics, a six-panel, never-changing comic that features the adventures of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a Utah Raptor, and a drum semen drum drum in drama drama semium um um drum drama and drum do I and a third dinosaur. The panels never change. Only the dialogue moves around, and this is so remarkable considering for years and years and years, North updated it every weekday with a brand new comic. And the topics of the comics ranged from the absurd to the very scientific to, well, comics themselves. Being a comic fan, North had no choice but to include the things he was interested in. In fact, Dinosaur Comics still runs, now on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, and you can find it at quants.com. Q-W-A-N-T-Z. That's right, this is a webcomic that has gone on for 14 years. Even as North has moved on to other stages of life, he's gotten married, he started writing comics for Marvel, he got stuck in an empty skate park. You should probably Google that. He got stuck in a hole in a skate park and tweeted about it. In 2012, North signed on to be the writer for the Adventure Time comic book series. Pretty big because Adventure Time was growing in popularity more and more and you can say it went pretty well because the very next year, 2013, one year into North's comic book writing career, Adventure Time won an Eisner Award for Best Child's Publication. Not bad for a computer programmer who once got stuck in a hole in a skate park. After a few years behind the helm of Adventure Time, North signed on to be the author of The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And it could not have been a more perfect fit because North's unique writing style fits so perfectly with the brevity and lightness of the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, the character herself, who of course is a nanny, is a college student, who is of course studying computer programming. But how did he reach that point in his career if he was just doing a dinosaur comic? Which by the way is one of the most brilliant things you'll ever read in your entire life. I want to emphasize that again. Well, it's really because his writing prowess became more well known through the publication of two books. The first of which being The Machine of Death. This was a collection of short stories that North helped edit and assemble and put together along with contributing to. It's set in some sort of future setting where there's a machine that will tell you how you die, but it does it in very vague sort of ways. But even more notably than that, in 2012, North launched a Kickstarter campaign for something called To Be or Not To Be That is the adventure. To be or not to be, that is the adventure, 
is a choose your own adventure retelling of Hamlet by William Shakespeare. If that idea isn't enough to convince you to go ahead and read Squirrel Girl or to pick up all of Ryan North's previous work, I don't know what will. He took a hundreds of years old, is that how you say that? Hundreds of years old? Is that right? Okay. He took a hundreds of years old story and completely retold it, making it so ridiculous. You can choose to play a written out game as Hamlet. You can choose to hunt down Hamlet's entire family if you want to. And it's not small either. He went through, I mean, this is detailed. There are all these illustrations throughout the entire book of all the different endings you can get. Can you still see it? I hope you can. Bookmarks fell out of it. There's so much going on here. I'm such a fan, I have the hardcover copy. What you guys say about that? The original goal on Kickstarter was to raise $20,000. Within the first week, they had gotten six times more than that. By the time it was done, it had earned over $580,000, a Kickstarter record for a publishing project. Ryan North is a name that you should know. If you're unfamiliar, I highly recommend everything he's done so far. In fact, just this past year, he put out Romeo and or Juliet. You guessed it, another choose your own adventure style retelling of William Shakespeare. So if you're interested in reading the work of an Eisner winning comic book writer who's only been in the comic book game for a few years, you need to check out Ryan North's Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And I love North because when I was in high school in the early 2000s, I'd sit around and I'd read dinosaur comics and I'd think to myself, hey, this is a guy who's just going out there and creating stuff on the internet because he can. Why couldn't I do that too? So he's been an inspiration to me in a lot of ways. And for that alone, I mean, he'll always have my support. But what do I know? I'm just a handsome face. Is that doing it for you? <laughs> There's a wink. Woohoo! Yippee!